another leg workout. Now, here's the deal. We're gonna do, the next video you're gonna see is gonna be a shoulder workout. So we are gonna do other body parts, but um, we, everybody loves leg workouts, so I decided to do another one. There is a couple booty exercises in it, but we're gonna start with a superset of a front squat and a back squat, and I'm gonna kinda give you some cues on front squatting. Front squatting is a little bit, a lot, harder than back squats. Front squats take your glutes out of the equation and it's a lot of quads and then you go to back squats which would be easier so whatever weight you can do for your front squats you can definitely do way more reps. So I always tell you guys and it really depends on what your goals are if you're trying to increase strength you do want to increase the weight and then lower the reps um, if you're really trying to go for major increase in weight, you go very, very low reps. Again, doing as many sets as you can to get up to, let's say, a max. Um, then I am a big fan of supersets. So what we're gonna actually do is, and I'm going very light on my weight. These are not 45 pound plates. I already told you guys in the last video, I'm not even trying to front. These are 15 pound plates. So what I'm gonna do is demonstrate how I like to do front squats, and then we're gonna immediately go from front squats to back squats. What I'm gonna say is, do as many as you can. Let's just say you do 15 front squats, double the rep count and go 30 on the back squats. So I'm only gonna demonstrate a few. So there's two ways that you can do your front squats. Some people like to hold it here and cross their hands. You want it to be that close, like you don't want it to be here, because there are, they're called zercher squats when they go inside the elbow. You don't want it on your bicep. You want it to be right here on your shoulders. You should technically be able to pull, put your arms out when you're doing your front squats. I personally feel better doing it this way, but not everybody has that shoulder range of motion. They, or arm, or bicep, or whatever. So I like to keep about three fingers, Keep my hands here, keep my barbell here. I hold it like this, and you notice how my voice changed a little bit. So it's kind of on my neck. So it's right on the top of my shoulder. Keep my feet at about a little bit wider than hip width apart, and then squat. So, get away from there just in case. So I'm getting super low. I feel even better, and I feel like I can get lower when I do my front squats with my hands there. Then, let's just say, let's pretend like I did 15. When I do my back squats, I go right to it. I personally like to hold on to the plates, and then you're able to do much more, going as low as you possibly can. I actually find that I can go a little bit lower on front squats than back squats. So, you do that, you rest for a couple minutes, maybe you do some reverse crunches, some push-ups if you want to, and then you go to your next set. If you want to try to get stronger, you then increase your weight. If not, you just do four sets of it. Now, we're gonna go to sumo barbell. So I'm actually, I don't have to do a lot of changing, so I'm gonna reverse clean it, put it on the ground, and teach you guys my super set, which is going to be sumo barbell squat. So I did a sumo, sumo dumbbell squat last time, and I'm gonna superset that with alternating lunges. You can do a walking. I personally like to do the step forward and then pop back. So feet are out here in that same sumo position. You want your hands on the inside, making sure your knees are tracking. You want eye, so look at your barbell. You wanna have your hands positioned here. If you lift up and one side comes up, you gotta move your hands. So you want your hands in this alternating position, chest is up, you lead with the chest, and then you squeeze and stand. So I'm going to turn around so you can see the back view and the glute view. So here, so I'm not getting a very big range of motion. When you don't use bumper plates and you use the smaller ones, you get a bigger range of motion and you're able to squat down way lower, which is much better. So even if you are doing 45 pound plates, maybe set up 25s and 210s, because that's what I do with some of my clients, so that they can get a big range of motion or stand on something. Um, and then I superset that with alternating lunges. So I'm gonna show you a front view. So you just take your step and then come back. Side view, and you can again, you could do 15 of those, and then you can go to 15 on each leg of your lunges. Side view, making sure that you're at a nice 90 degree angle. This cheek, 
See how I'm flexing? Cheek, cheek. And then this knee. So making sure that you're at that 90 degree angle when you do your lunges. So I am going to get us set up for our next one. So we're going to be doing goblet squats. Super set. Now, you don't have to have this actual piece of equipment that I have. Um, you could actually just shove it in the corner. So sometimes when I'm at 25 Fitness, I will see guys doing like the bent over rows uh, or, you know, or doing this particular exercise. But we have this here that can help us do what's called landmine squats. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that and then I'll use a dumbbell and then I got another exercise that I'm going to use my little baby bench board for. So landmine squats. The angle of these, which I did do these in a leg workout a while ago. So the angle of these is, let me make sure it's all the way in, is here. You hold it like a microphone. Keep your hands here. Make sure you're back far enough. So if you do it, like if you're too close and you do it and your toes, your heels come up, that's not right. So you're back here. You squat all the way down. Squeeze the glutes as you're standing up. You go right from that exercise to a goblet squat, which is fairly similar, but you'll feel it a little different. So I feel that one a lot in my glutes. I feel this one a lot in my glutes and my teardrop. That's the teardrop in a quad. Then I'm gonna go right to, and I really hope that this works. Usually I would use a bench, but the bench is behind us. So, I'm gonna use that bench. So, we are going to do a bridge supersetted with, or not supersetted, a bridge with abduction. So, how you can remember these? When you bring your legs together on those machines, and, ADD, add together. Ab -da, abduction is opening up. So, you can use one, two, and I talk about these tubes in every one of my videos, bands. Nebu Fit, N E E B O O F I T, uh, fit.com. So you lay back, you put your feet on something probably higher than this, and you do a bridge with opening. So you lift, open, close, halfway down. Okay, I totally feel the burn in my glutes. You could start out with one. Then the second set, you can go up to two, and then there is a heavier one that's an orange. So, we're going to do a shoulder workout next. i got to start working out. Um, so, we're going to do a shoulder workout next. We're going to do some other workouts. We're all going to start doing some core ones. So, I hope you guys like this. Um, uh, like the video. Share it with your friends. Try it out. Let me know. Comment. Uh, if you're local, you know, all of our websites and all of our uh, different programs that we have are going to be in the description. So you can check out our Gary Fitness website if you're local. And then some of the coaching programs that we have, training programs, kettlebell programs, they'll all be low. Uh, so, two fingers. <laughs>